I'm very excited for this next video as we'll be starting to build pages that we're going to use to surface content for our department. As explained before, I'm not building subsites under this intranet, I'm just building out pages. So I think of them as corporate brochures for the different departments where they surface information about the department, who the team is, um, what documents they want to share with the company, what FAQs they want to share, etc. So um, let's get started. On my site, I'm going to go to site contents and then I'm going to go to site pages. So my pages are going to live in that site pages library as well. This is also the same place where your home page sits as well as any news articles that you create. So we're going to click on create new site page and this is the template page that I'm going to be building. So remember no uh, fancy filters will be applied yet and this really is to just uh, start building that uh, departmental template page. And there's my page. So I'm just going to call this department and template page so that I know what this is about. For fun, I'll just go and put an image in anyway. And now, of course, as soon as the image is loaded, I can then set the focus point on this image. We'll just leave it to, uh, to that. I think that works for me. Now, um, the things that I want on my page, the first thing that I want is an about us. So about us, then what I'd like to add under the about us is a year away part. I definitely do that for everyone. I think it's such a great way to build um, unique identity, etc. So to add an image and a link here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy the link to my home page. So I'm going to go select link. I'm going to just say from link. Let's just paste that. And then I'm also going to edit. And um, so there's the link that I've added. And then I also want to add an image, of course, just so that it doesn't look like it's blank. So I'm going to go custom image. I'm going to go and upload an image and we'll say OK. So for all four of these for the template page, I'm going to just add it to the landing page of my site and I'm going to add images to this. Then below the Euro web part, after I've added all the images and the links, and you'll see that this one I kept is just a, just the color. I'm going to then add a, um, a people web part and I'm going to say um, the team. So whichever department it is. So for now, I'll just add Brahm so you can see it on there and I'll add Tracy. So you can see it on there and I'll add Dina so you can see it on the page. And then I'll also add uh, another one for who the page contact is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so below these, I now want to add my um, documents and FAQs. So I'm going to add a new section. You'll see on the left there, I'm going to say two columns. Then on this side, I'm going to add the documents. And on the right hand side, I'm going to add the lists. This side, I'm going to choose um, the brain. Remember, that's my document library. On this side, I'm going to choose FAQs. And then what I'd want to do is I want to edit this to point to my grouped view. So there you'll see, remember, I had a grouped view. So I'm going to apply that. And on this side, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to point this to grouped by department view. I'm then going to add another open section at the bottom, one column section, and I'm going to add my Microsoft form. So when I click on forms, you'll see that it asks me if I want to create a new form or whether this would be an existing form. Remember that form we created in the previous um, videos. So there's the link to that form and I'm going to say OK. And there we go. After I've published the page, you'll see that I've got the about us at the top. I've got five blocks that you can link to. I've got the team, the page contact. I've got the documents that the department wants to share, the FAQs they want to share. And I always have the feedback form at the bottom for, uh, for my intranet. I just want to edit this as well. I normally switch the comments off. So I'm going to just scroll to the bottom and I'm going to switch the comments off at the bottom of the page. I prefer using the forms for feedback. And that's us for um, the departmental template page. You're going to see in the next video how we're going to copy this and use this for departments. Chat soon.